like to hear. Well, let me tell you how pleased we are that you took the time to come out here today and to learn uh, and to become more familiarized with what we're doing. Because I think this is important work. Uh, those of you that, that know the island well, and I know most of you probably do, know that we're under some pressure out here. And there's some concern uh, about uh, development. And we have some people that um, aren't thinking right, that are building uh, eight bedroom houses, which are the equivalent of motels in neighborhoods. And that's gonna turn your life upside down if your wife or your uh, sister or your uh, mom lives in a neighborhood like that. That, that. That's something that upsets people. And so you cannot stop people from coming, just like we all came. And what we want to do is to make sure that we encourage the right people to come. And the people that buy into the philosophy of sustainability, of sustainable ecotourism, which we have now been recognized, uh, as we said earlier, by the World Tra Tourism Organization under the United Nations. And Dr. David Randall is here today from the Patel School College of Global Sustainability at the USF. We're so pleased to be partnered with them in these initiatives as they are looking at us for a model of showing other communities. So many times when we travel around, what do we see? We see the, it's like going to Vegas. All the casinos are the same skeleton with a different skin. And if you go to old San Juan and you see this beautiful place, but it's all the ticky tacky trinket shops and the senior frogs and the, all of that. What you want to do is be authentic. You want to be, have a story that is about your area and what is unique about your area. And I think that's what we've been able to do in no small part and with Michael Miller's help and, and what Michael Coleman has done and the things that we're doing with Heritage Seafood that I'm going to talk a little bit about today and with our organic farms and with setting out on a composting program. We're one of the largest independent, the largest independent restaurant group in some fairly wide area. I know Manatee County and maybe another couple of counties. And I pay a lot of money for all the food. We pay a lot of money for the food that comes in and 25 or 30% of it goes in the trash can. And then I have to pay for it to go to the landfill where if I'm thinking right, it never inures to the benefit of man again for the rest of time. Conversely, it's a negative effect because it makes methane. But if I can have a culture in my restaurant that says if you're gonna work for us, you're going to take the extra three seconds to put the things that the wild pigs can eat and that can go to be compost at our farm into these cans and the things that can be recycled into these cans. And then they go to the farm and they feed the vegetables and we have to use less fertilizer and less soil amendments and it's a natural way to do it to bring you the tomatoes and the vegetables that you're going to eat today. And if I do that the way I'm thinking, a trace of that stays for the rest of time. And when I do it the second time, it's a trace plus. And the third time, it's a trace plus. So now we're embarking on a very ambitious com uh, composting program. So you gotta take another step. You know, when the gardens are here, you gotta find the bees. And once you've got that, you've got the farms. And then you do the farms and you think, well, wait a minute, there's a better way to, to handle our refuse. And, and we just continue to build on that. And we're very pleased that now the uh, Patel College of Global Sustainability at the University of South Florida under Dr. David Randall has given us a master's intern to come in and help us with this composting program. So that's one of the things that I wanted to tell you about today. Uh, the menu in front of you is all about the sustainable things that we are doing uh, on our farm uh, and some of the things that you've seen in the garden today. And you're starting out with a tomato crudo, crudo meaning raw in Italian. Um, and this is our Gamble Creek Pineapple Heirloom Tomatoes. There are two and three pound tomatoes that are just absolutely fabulous. And we have pea tendrils that are from the farm. Uh, and then we've got some of the beautiful watermelon radishes. And then there's a little dusting of our tepanade. And we take our olive tepanade and we uh, grind it up with a little bit of our brown breadcrumbs. And we do that on our heirloom tomato salad. So there's a little taste of that. Uh, enjoy, and then I'll tell you about the next course.